Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the thermistor on your refrigerator. This particular thermistor is located in the damper control that regulates the amount of cold air that comes from the freezer into your fresh food compartment. It's a really easy job to change it. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, we will need to turn the power off to the refrigerator. So either pull it far enough forward that you can unplug it, or locate the breaker or fuse and turn off the power at the source. Now once we've done that, even though the sensor is located in the fresh food compartment, it is easier to remove it by taking a air duct assembly out of the freezer first. So we're going to start by opening up the freezer. On this particular model, we'll see that there are two screws in the ceiling that hold that large air duct assembly in place. So we'll need to remove those two screws and take that air duct assembly out of there. So we'll begin by getting the two screws that secure that air duct to the ceiling. We'll take both of those out. Now next we'll remove a single screw at the right rear corner of that ice maker and that will allow us to pull the ice maker forward enough that we can drop that air duct down and out of the way. They will need a little bit of resistance from the fill tube but it's flexible enough that will allow us to get the distance that we need. and then just tilt that down and lift it away from the back. Now next we're going to remove the little inlet duct assembly that goes into the fresh food compartment. And it's just a friction fit, so just grasp it and pull it out and set it aside. Now we'll close up the freezer door and we'll go over into the fresh food section. Now our next step will be to remove two quarter inch hex head screws to secure that control housing to the ceiling. Just support that control housing after you remove the screws. Now that we've loosened the screws for the control housing in the fresh food compartment, we're going to reach back in on the freezer side and we'll push that damper assembly through the opening. It's held in place with these four little tabs. So just push those into the opening and then we can pull the whole control through from the other side. Next we'll need to disconnect this wire harness on the top locking tab on one side, we'll release that, and again support that whole assembly until we can pull the damper completely out from the back. Now we'll take that and put it on a suitable work surface where we can change out the thermistor. Now with the control housing on a suitable work surface, we'll next locate the the Mr. Harness, disconnect it by releasing that locking tab. And just release that tape so we can pull that 
bleed out of the way. Now next we're going to just pull that damper assembly carefully aside. And there's a little foam strip here that holds the sensor end in place. So just peel that back. Pull the sensor out of the housing and discard it. And fit the new one into place. Make sure it goes all the way till it bottoms out. Put that foam pad back in place. And make sure we secure that harness with the tape. And then reconnect the harness. Make sure that locking tab engages. Now when putting this assembly back into the refrigerator, one thing we need to make sure of is that we insert this little tab on the end into a slotted opening on the back wall. It's difficult to see once you have the control up in place, but we need to make sure that that goes in or it won't fit properly. So now we can put it back into the refrigerator. Now when reinstalling the assembly, we're just going to line up that damper and push that all the way through until it locks on the four tabs engage. And reach up, reconnect that wire harness. Make sure that's pushed firmly onto the connector and that the locking tab engages. And then we'll line up that tab at the back into a slotted hole on the back wall. And then reinstall the retaining screws. Now we can go back to the freezer compartment and reinstall the components there. Now our next step will be to put the air duct assembly into place. So we're going to tuck it in behind the back cover and then line up the nozzle with the opening into the damper. And then push it in until it's flush. Next, we'll reinstall the air duct across the ceiling. And we want to make sure that this little hook, two spots there, will fit over that rear cover. Probably have to pull that ice maker forward enough. and then secure it to the ceiling with the two quarter inch screws. Now with the air duct secured, we can then push the ice maker back into position. And the little tabs on the side should lock it in place. And pull that cover down into position and then reinstall the quarter inch screw to secure it. Next, we'll put the surface door back into position. Make sure that we engage those two pins into the hinges. So you'll have to spread those hinges just slightly. Make sure we turn the ice maker back on. 
and then we can close up the freezer. We're now ready to reconnect the power and our repair is complete.